in SAP S4HANA cloud implementations, especially within the public cloud edition, the initial setup of the enterprise structure follows a guided and standardized process known as SAP Central Business Configuration, CBC. The CBC tool simplifies and accelerates the creation and configuration of foundational organizational elements such as company codes, plants, and sales organizations, ensuring alignment with established SAP best practices. Here, you can see the CBC interface in action. SAP Central Business Configuration Tool is a user-friendly interface, walks you through defining and refining your organizational structure in a clear, visual, and structured manner. It aligns closely with SAP's recommended practices, helping teams configure their enterprise structure efficiently. Within CBC, the organizational units such as company codes are clearly visible. Each company code is associated with a specific region and their confirmation status confirmed indicates these structures have been approved or reviewed. Plants represent specific operational locations within the company like manufacturing or distribution centers. Sales organizations defines the structure responsible for distributing products and managing sales operations in specific regions. The visual tree format simplifies understanding the relationships between different organizational units. It provides clear options to create additional plans, sales organizations, or other related entities, ensuring clarity and reducing complexity during setup. In SAP Central Business Configuration, CBC, for S4HANA Cloud, the creation and assignment of organizational units follow a straightforward guided process designed to simplify and standardize the setup. Here's how the process typically unfolds. Let's review a step-by-step -step creation and assignment in CBC. You first navigate to the organizational structure section within CBC. From here, you select an organizational unit type to create, such as company code, plant, sales organization. Clicking on plus create initiates the definition process, prompting you to enter essential details like code and name, country or region, additional attributes depending on the unit. For example, currency, address, tax settings. CBC provides guidance aligned with SAP best practices, predefining standard settings based on the selected country or business scenario. The system offers predefined templates based on SAP standards, which you can accept or slightly modify as required. Once you create basic organizational units, for example, a company code, CBC guides you to create subordinate units like plants linked directly under company codes. Sales organizations also assigned under company codes. Assignments between organizational units such as linking a plant to a company code or a sales organization are visually shown and easily managed through drag and drop or selection based interaction in the graphical interface. CBC clearly indicates the status of each organizational unit as you progress. Units initially appear as to be created or to be confirmed. After reviewing and finalizing, you mark units as confirmed making it clear they have been validated and approved for deployment. Upon confirmation, the organizational units become ready for activation and synchronization with your SAP S4HANA cloud environment. CBC handles consistency checks and validations automatically, ensuring alignment with recommended SAP best practices. To bring this to life, let's walk through a simple scenario. Imagine Apple is using SAP S4HANA Cloud to manage an iPhone distribution. Let's consider the receiving stock scenario. Foxconn manufactures iPhones and ships them to Apple's US distribution center 
in California. In SAP, Apple will record the arrival of iPhones into planned US-10 California DC, which belongs to company code US-01. The transaction goods received will automatically tag the stock as belonging to Apple USA, US-01, and specifically in planned US-10 storage location main warehouse. Financially, Apple USA's inventory value goes up. If later Apple wants to see how many iPhones are in the US-10 warehouse, SAP can show stock by plant and storage location. Let's now look at selling stock scenario. Now a customer in New York orders an iPhone from Apple.com. The sales order is created under Sales Org US, Apple USA Sales, with the distribution channel online. The plant that will supply the product is US-10, the California warehouse. Perhaps Apple ships nationwide from there. When the order is processed and shipped, the delivery is executed from plant US-10 and the inventory is decremented from that plant. The revenue from the sale is booked under company code US-01 since sales org US is linked to it. If Apple's finance team looks at Apple USA's profit, that sale is included. Apple's Canada books are unaffected by this US sale because the structure cleanly separated them. Let's look at internal management scenario. Let's say Apple wants to analyze performance. They can use the profit center or company code to see profitability. For example, all sales via sales org US roll into Apple USA financials helpful for local reporting. If Apple's executives want to know how the European business is doing, they can look at company code EU01's financial reports. If they want a product line view, they could use profit centers. For example, all iPhone sales profit centers across company codes consolidated via controlling area and reporting tools. Let's look at a procurement example. Apple USA, US01, needs to procure new office equipment for the Cupertino campus. The purchasing team for US creates a purchase order under the US Purchasing Org assigned to US01, and it's delivered to plant US10 if we treat the campus as part of that or another plant like a facility plant. Because the purchase org and plant are linked to US01, the resulting invoice will be paid by Apple USA in USD, and it won't appear in Apple Canada's world. The org structure localizes the effect of the transaction appropriately. This shows how each piece, company code, plant, sales org, and so on, plays a role every time Apple does something in SAP. Having a clear organizational structure in SAP S4 HANA Cloud is like having a well-organized blueprint for Apple's business within the system. It ensures that Apple's vast operations are correctly represented. Every iPhone sale, every AirPods shipment, every supplier payment is recorded in the right part of the company. For a global giant like Apple, this structure provides both segmentation, so each unit can manage its own business, and integration, so Apple can still consolidate and view the big picture. In Apple's context, we saw how these elements map to real entities like Apple USA versus Apple Europe, or a California warehouse versus a retail channel. When setting up SAP S4 HANA Cloud, Defining these org units is one of the first and most important steps. It's the foundation on which all of Apple's transactions in the system will rest. Before we wind up this lesson, let me ask you a few reflective questions to reinforce your understanding. In SAP S4 HANA Cloud, which organizational unit would represent a legal entity for Apple? For example, Apple Canada or Apple Japan. And why is this important? What is a plant in SAP? And can you give an example of what a plant might represent for Apple's operations?
How does defining a clear organizational structure, company codes, sales orgs, and so on, help Apple manage its business more effectively in the SAP system? Reflecting on these questions will help solidify your grasp of organizational structures in SAP and their significance in enterprise management.